Durham on top after Rushworth equals record. Durham posted a competitive target on day one, albeit for the loss of all ten wickets, five of which went to Josh Tung. The pairs had got their reply started, six runs chipped off the deficit before the end of the day. And at the start of day two, Chris Rushworth made sure that Durham made early inroads. The score was almost to 30 when Daryl Mitchell was out LBW. Jake Libby wouldn't be too far behind, nicking off to rain. Haynes and Fell put the brakes on. They looked to make sure that the early wickets wouldn't lead to a collapse. And they took the total past 50. Maybe these two could get a foothold for Worcestershire. Rushworth denied them that opportunity. Haynes out LBW for eight, with the score on 60. Fell and Oliveira stuck together in what remained before lunch, and they took their side into the break at 81 for three. Oliveira didn't last long after lunch. Rain found his pads and he had to go for 10. Ricky Vessels joined Fell and took the score into three figures. But Fell couldn't make his way to 50, bowled by a full straight cast delivery. His defence is beaten, stumps rearranged. Vessels followed, bowled by 13 for Rushworth, by one that kept a little low. The stumps sent flying. And then there was another for Rushworth. Barnard out LBW for two. Then Wood got in on the act. Cox out, caught by Pointer, and Durham were causing their visitors all sorts of problems. Josh Tung did what he could to stay with his captain, but wouldn't be able to do much more than add 17. He was bowled by Cass to leave the pairs with just one wicket left. Charlie Morris did stick with Leach though. They took the score past 200 and the captain was a real route of resistance for the visitors. What was once a 100-run lead for Durham was now tumbling towards 50. The last wicket was a big one, especially for Chris Rushworth. Not only did it seal his five-wicket bag, but in bowling Charlie Morris, he equaled Graham Onion's club record of 527 first-class wickets for Durham. Worcestershire all out for 213. Outside of the 40-run knocks of Fell and Leach at opposite ends of the order, it had been a difficult innings for the pairs, who had been on the end of another Rushworth masterclass. He finished with 5 for 56. Lees and Young were back in the firing line after less than a day's rest, and they started patiently. But Alex Lees wouldn't be able to replicate his first innings 99. He fell early for 12, bowled by a swinging Yorker. The captain dug in though, and he started to tick the runs off. It wasn't long before Durham had found their way to 50, and the lead was now edging back towards three figures. Young was playing a decent hand. His innings helped Durham edge further ahead as the day headed towards its end. And they reached that, still together. The score 79 for one, and the lead now 112. How far could they go on day three?